Tonight in Garage Time, we're continuing on the auto stick, doing our spring clean, but what, uh, we pulled the engine, it was missing some of the tins, so I've gone ahead and actually, well, since it's, we're talking about it, Sean can turn around. We've moved it to the side for this video, but I'm going back, putting the stock flaps. We were missing our cross brace, so we made a brace and whatnot. We're adding that. We're adding more cooling tin, the type three cooling tins on the bottom. Thermostats are on back order right now, so we're getting a thermostat. We're gonna get the stock cooling system back in this thing. But something I've always wanted to install in one of my Volkswagens is a Dakota Digital cylinder head temperature gauge. Now. We've done um, the VDO brand, but I believe the accuracy, or at least I've read and been convinced that the accuracy of Dakota Digital is, is much better, and it, it's just a digital display. So I bought one of these for another vehicle a few years ago, sold that vehicle, never installed it. So I've decided we're putting a Subaru in the bus, makes no sense. Let's put it in the auto stick since we have it apart. Now, the gauge itself is pretty self-explanatory. You put it up in your dash. Again, I keep saying we're trying to keep this auto stick fairly stock. So we've gone ahead, playing with a 3D printer, made ourselves a little gauge pod that we're going to just secure under the dash and mount our new gauge inside run a wire obviously from the back to the front, but what you need is like this thermocouple connector which goes under your spark plug, okay? So the importance of this is if you see your spark plug hole, it's perfectly round. If you look at this, it's not. So you can bend it and whatnot, but if I have spark plug, you'll see like it's way off to the side and it won't work. My spark plug won't seat properly. So what you actually need to do is dremel a bit of a groove here in the side, uh, in this upper level, so that when you bend this around your spark plug, that it has somewhere to go. All right, so engine's assembled. Don't want to take my Dremel and grind little metal all inside. So we've gone ahead and fabbed this up. It's just an old spark plug we took apart. Welded, of all things, an old Volkswagen hinge pin. That's what I had around, but uh, going to thread that in just to block the hole a bit. Obviously we've stuffed uh, paper towel in our intake. So I'm going to get a Dremel. I'm going to grind a little bit of groove in there until my sensor can fit flush on the spark plug. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Dremel and uh, start trimming that up now. So we're going to take the Dremel. We're going to go on the front side of the engine, which, well, front side of the car, so that the wire comes out and goes right through. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Dremel's acting up. Okay, so I thought I had just totally damaged it, but there's a bit of a protective coating that was on that just came off. So the wires are still good, so that's fine. I'm gonna clear out just a tiny bit more. So I'll go ahead and put my plug back in, get the Dremel and just clear it a slight bit more. So without the spark plug, just put, holding in my thermocouple here, you can see what we're trying to achieve. So that groove is where my crimp goes, right? The crimp is what causes the problem. So that worked out, no problem. Put your spark plug back in, torque it down, and we are good to go. 
So once the engine is totally back together and in the car, we'll show you in another video the cylinder head temp gauge working. But that's the tricky part of the install. That's what you need to do. You need to clearance a bit around your spark plug. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you out there.